There are many common misconceptions about dementia and their persistence comes at a great peril. For starters, dementia is mistakenly thought of as a casualty of old age. Age is a risk factor but it is not a cause. Plus you can develop dementia before the age of 65. Another misapprehension is that memory loss is the initial warning sign. Although memory loss is a common characteristic, it is not always the first symptom. People with frontotemporal dementia FTD, an uncommon type of dementia, experience problems with behavior and language first. Also, FTD is the second most frequent type of dementia, after Alzheimer's disease, in adults below the age 65 years of age, according to the BMJ. FTDs typically appear in midlife, with average age of onset between 45 and 65 years, and peak prevalence in the seventh decade, states the health body. Dementia Breakthrough the daily food to eat that strongly reduces the risk of decline it notes that prominent early symptoms include progressive coarsening of personality, social behavior, self-regulation, of emotions, drives, and behavior, and language. Gross changes in social behavior and language are often seen, including indifference to self-care and others' needs, loss of speech and comprehension loss of empathy, distractibility, impulsiveness, disinhibition, stereotyped behaviors and rigid routines, and compulsions. According to the NHS, there may also be physical problems, such as slow or stiff movements, loss of bladder or bowel control, usually not until later on, muscle weakness or difficulty swallowing. These problems can make daily activities increasingly difficult, and the person may eventually be unable to look after themselves. B12 Deficiency, Stroke the soles of your feet to check, Advice Diabetes, the herb that slashes blood sugar by 25%, Tips Cancer, the drink that could double your risk, Inside How to Respond The NHS advises seeing a GP if you think you have early symptoms of dementia. If you're worried about someone else, encourage them to make an appointment with a GP and perhaps suggest you go with them, says the health body. The GP can do some simple checks to try to find the cause of your symptoms, and they can refer you to a memory clinic or another specialist for further tests if needed. Can I reduce my risk? Although some prominent risk factors, such as age, cannot be modified, others can. According to Alzheimer's Research UK, there are a number of lifestyle risk factors, many of which are similar to those for cardiovascular conditions. These include smoking, unmanaged hypertension, diabetes and lack of education. Other factors have been proposed. Although currently the evidence base is less certain, including obesity, alcohol consumption, physical inactivity, sports-related head injuries and depression. Air pollution has also been a focus of several studies on cognitive impairment and dementia risk. There is evidence that tiny air pollution particles can enter the brain but at this time it can't be determined whether they play a role in the development of dementia. There is a strong case for further research into the effect of air pollution on brain health. Air pollution is made up of several different components including gases, chemical compounds, metals and tiny particles known as particulate matter. Long-term exposure or exposure to high levels of air pollution can be hazardous, leading to health conditions that affect the lungs and heart, 